Good morning students welcome back to the biology class students we are discussing the chapter the five kingdom classification in the previous session we learnt about kingdom protista in which we discussed structure of amoeba locomotion in amoeba respiration in amoeba nutrition in amoeba and reproduction in amoeba today we will be discussing kingdom fungi in detail also we will be introducing kingdom plantae and kingdom animalia so first of all kingdom fungi kingdom fungi consist of eukaryotic organisms which include microorganisms such as yeasts and molds as well as the more familiar mushrooms these organisms are classified as kingdom fungi which is separate from plants animals protists and bacteria one major difference is that fungal cells have cell walls that contain chitin unlike the cell walls of plants and some protists which contain cellulose the second difference between fungi and plants is that fungi do not make their own food like plants do so let us see again the major characteristics of this kingdom organisms in kingdom fungi are usually multicellular they are saprophytic organisms Saprophytic organism means that they get their nutrition from decomposing matter. Most of them are parasitic. Parasitic nutrition or parasites refers that they derive their nutrition from other living organisms also called hosts. Some organisms are edible while some are poisonous. Common examples are mushrooms, yeasts and molds. We will study the structure of bread mold also called rhizopus in detail. So rhizopus or bread mold is a fungus which can be found on the surface of fruits, vegetables and stale bread. Basic structure of bread mold is made up of thread like structures called hyphae. Hyphae forms a branching network called mycelium. Rhizopus reproduces by growing vertical hyphae called sporangiophore. Each hyphae swells at the tip to form a sporangium. The cytoplasm in the sporangium divides to form a mass of spores. When sporangium breaks open, the spores are dispersed in air. These spores form a new mycelium if they land on a suitable medium some hyphae grow downward to obtain nutrients forming a root like structure called rhizoids the rhizoids absorb nutrients from the substrate let us now study the respiration in rhizopus Bread mold has aerobic mode of respiration which takes place by simple diffusion. Aerobic mode of respiration means respiration in presence of oxygen. They respire by taking in oxygen and giving out carbon dioxide. They are always seen growing on the top layer of the bread so that they can respire easily as lots of oxygen is available. fungi can be useful as well as harmful let us first discuss useful effects of fungi they feed on dead and decaying organic matter and return nutrients to the soil for producers that is why fungi is also termed as decomposers some of the fungi are edible like mushrooms baking and brewing industries rely heavily on the use of yeast Fungus also play a role in the field of medicine. They help in the production of antibiotic, penicillium and other drugs. In industry, they help in the production of ethanol which can be used as gasoline substitute. Harmful effects of fungi. They cause spoilage of food, leather articles and textiles. They cause diseases in animals like athlete foot in human oral thrush and ringworm they cause diseases in plants like rust smut and molds now let me introduce you to kingdom plantae and kingdom animalia 
Kingdom plantae consists of plants. Plant cells contain a nucleus and are multicellular. They contain chlorophyll, a green colored pigment necessary for photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is a process in which plants convert energy from sunlight into food. The cell walls are made sturdy by a material called cellulose and they are fixed in one place. Plants reproduce sexually, that is fertilization happens to produce offsprings combining genes of the parents. Plants are divided into two groups, flower and fruit producing plants and those that do not produce flowers or fruits. They include garden flowers, agricultural crops, grasses, shrubs, ferns, mosses and conifers. Kingdom Animalia consists of animals. Animals are the most complex organisms on earth. Animals are multicelled organisms, eat food for survival and have well-developed nervous systems. Animals reproduce sexually, that is fertilization happens to produce offsprings combining genes of the parents. They are divided into vertebrates and invertebrates and Animals include mammals, amphibians, reptiles, birds and fish. So in today's lesson, we discussed about kingdom fungi in which we studied structure of rhizopus, respiration in rhizopus, useful and harmful effects of fungi, introduction to kingdom plantae and kingdom animalia. We will discuss these two kingdoms in detail in the later part of our curriculum. I hope you have understood and enjoyed today's lesson. I will be sending you a worksheet related to this topic. Students, with this topic, we conclude our chapter, The Five Kingdom Classification. Just to summarize, we have covered the five kingdoms in this chapter. That is Kingdom Monera, Kingdom Protesta, Kingdom Fungi, Kingdom Plantae and Kingdom Animalia. Students, I'll be back with another interesting topic soon. Till then, take a very good care of yourself. Stay safe. Thank you.